Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm just waking up this morning, so please excuse my nasally congestion and just uh, my tiredness too, because I just woke up just recently. So I'm returning to you for uh, the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, season two, episode six for this review. Hopefully you will enjoy this review uh, for the episode called Where Is He? So, I'm going to discuss what I watched for the episode 6 for this review for uh, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2, and let you know my thoughts on this episode overall. So, let's dive into this uh, episode review. Sorry about the background noise. My nephew's uh, yelling a bit. But, other than that, I think with this episode, you see more of Caleb Brimbor a little bit in this one. And this is getting close to where the last two episodes are going to come into play, where a war scene is going to be happening with Adar and Sauron, or Anatar, or whatever he's called now. <laughs> uh, but pretty much, uh, with what I've seen with this one, it was it was good. Uh, not one of my favorites, but it was still a good episode. The dialogue was interesting. And you get to see uh, Numenor going through their own thing with uh, how Farazon, Farazon is actually taking over as ruler of Numenor. And Melanie, or whatever her name is, Queen, uh, the Queen or whatever of Numenor was actually... Uh, dethroned because of a certain thing that was happening in the direction she was taking Numenor in. But other than that, with uh, all I've seen, there's a little bit of corruption in Numenor and things are happening there where uh, a dictatorship is coming into play. <laughs> so I think with this one, you get to see a lot more of almost all the characters in this episode. You get to see the dwarves, you get to see uh, the stranger, who is basically, uh, I guess, the wizard or whatever. So, I was very interested to see that side of things. Like, you have Sauron in the West. Like, the hermit Tom or whatever says, you have Sauron in the West destroying things right now, and causing a big mayhem uh, upon Middle-earth a little, and you have a dark wizard in the east where they are right now, Nori and Poppy and uh, the wizard are in the east trying to stop the dark wizard, so they have another enemy they're dealing with. But I think this episode did have a good concept and a good storyline, and... I think this was at least a pretty good episode at best. I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings with some things with this episode. Like how it turns out he makes Celebrimbor think that he's seeing uh, Eregion and it's peaceful right now. So Anatar, also known as Sauron, kind of gave him a certain illusion. Uh, he made him hallucinate. And made him think that everything was fine. And then you find out that uh, Eregion's under attack by orcs and Uruks. And uh, Adar's company and all that. So, basically, I think this episode was pretty good at best. So, I was really interested to see... Uh, that Adar and Galadriel are trying to be a potential ally just to stop Sauron, but then he's going to be public enemy number two that they're going to go after, so Adar kind of knows that uh, Galadriel and her uh, elven company are going to go after Adar after Sauron's defeated. So, pretty much... With what I've seen with this one, this was a strong episode. There were a few critiques with this episode, but not too many. 
like the King Durin is kind of he's going a little mad because he's allowing the ring to consume and cloud his judgment and basically uh, make him think weird things and all that and trying to get him like the rings of power kind of were altered in a way for the seven drawers but other than that if i were to give this episode its deserved score i'm going to give it a strong 8.5 out of 10 it's a pretty good episode i was interested to see how the hardfoots were uh basically with the smeals or whatever they're uh, clan name is or whatever uh, their group of people's name is but other than that uh, it still was an interesting storyline for this episode like 64 minutes of a runtime but I gotta check out the last two episodes I'm gonna have to watch it on this movie app I go to because they canceled my Amazon Prime but that's fine I, I can't afford it right now because of certain bills coming in and certain expenses I gotta pay off financially so things are gonna be happening for the next week or two that I'll have to make sacrifices for a little bit but not too long uh, I'll still have to reinstate some subscriptions at a later date but other than that yeah 8.5 out of 10 for uh, the season 2 episode 6 for Lord of the Rings and Rings of Power. I hope you enjoyed this episode 6 review, and thank you for watching this afternoon.